my shaving kit. How about under the mattress? Ah, you guys. Maybe I better just carry it right with me. Quick okay, true story of why I'm laying in bed. So, in my other video, I explained to everybody that that I had a um, really bad toothache. And I had went to the doctor when I made that video. And I went, I think it was on Wednesday, I went, finally got into somewhere. And, um... When I went in there, at first I wasn't going to be seen because I didn't know that they had stopped my insurance. So I had to call, I had to still have to call them and have them reinstall it or whatever. But anyways, I prayed and I was like, Lord, I cannot go another day with my teeth like this. These are, they're hurting really bad. By the way, even after I left there and she prescribed me antibiotics. I didn't get no pain pills, but she did prescribe me antibiotic, which is cool because I just want the infection gone. But I, I literally was, have been suffering for like three days off of my antibiotic. So even after I'm taking antibiotic, because when my teeth got checked in the back, they said I had three, two or three teeth all on the same side, which is this side that were infected. Right. And so. I was like, wow, I knew something was wrong because I was taking like a lot of over the counter medicine for a while. And then finally I got some something that was a little stronger for a little while because I was just in so much pain. But anyways, um, I have been on my antibiotic for about. I'm going to say two days now. Today makes two days. At 6.30 tonight, it'll be actually 48 hours. So, anyways, um, f up until today, which is like, I think it's like maybe 1 or 2 in the afternoon, um, I have been in excruciating pain, even taking my antibiotics. I mean, I know I woke up at like 1.30 um, in the morning, and I was like, like so frustrated, and I was telling my mom, like, this is ridiculous. I don't understand why the dentist can not prescribe me something just for three days. Like, you don't have to prescribe me anything for over, you know, the amount of time from when the antibiotics was going to start working because I just want to get rid of the pain or whatever, you know. But besides that, God works a miracle. They actually seen me um, on Wednesday. And uh, I got a dentist appointment next week. To go get three of them. They're all in the back. They're not in the front. They're in the back. But she said I have to have six removed in the back. So, which I'm not tripping because I'm about to get my whole grill done anyway. And I want all the bad teeth taken out. Because I'm going to go and get um, veneers. Or I'm going to pay to get the implants. So, anyways. Um, I was just in a lot of pain. I, I was like frustrated. I was angry. Y'all went to go buy me some of that numbing stuff. Why did I use almost a whole bottle within like a few hours? It was crazy. Um, but anyways, just a quick update on my life. So I basically today, when I finally woke up, it was like I think around 8.55, 9 o'clock a.m., um, I started to feel like a slight, slight, small irritation, but not to where like it was so bad that I couldn't move. Um, but I was really tired because I, it woke me up at 1.30 this morning. It kept me up. I had to keep using the numbing medicine that I got and I took a lot of uh, over the counter and I had one strong pill left and I put that with it so that it could get me through whatever. So when I took it at 1.30 this morning... Um, I told my mom, this is not working. This antibiotic is not working. By the way, she gave me the, one of the strongest antibiotics. It's clindamycin, and I think it was like 150 milligrams per pill. So I've already took in like six. She gave me 14. I've now took in probably around 10. No, I took 11. Today, I took one like a couple hours ago. Um, but I noticed that when, um, I woke up, 
like I was like kind of laying in the bed because I just been feeling really sick and groggy oh, and everything. But I am thanking God because I have no pain in my teeth. It that antibiotics finally kicked in around nine this morning where I was like, oh, thank God. But I had got up at one, when I got up at one thirty and told my mom that my mom was like, you have to keep taking them. I was like, well, I'm not going to stop taking them. I know evidently I need to take them till they're gone. I'm just stating that I don't understand why the pain is not lowered. But then my mom was telling me, you have to remember you have infection on the same side and more than one tooth. So it's going to hurt, you know, even if, if you feel like it's not, I'm sorry, you guys, that my lighting isn't that good. I'm like, it is daytime, but I don't feel like, like turning on my light and stuff, but I thought I'd just come and give you guys a little bit of a talk because, you know, I'm trying to get used to doing my videos. But anyways, um, I, I came to me, I asked my mom, I'm like, mom, am I supposed to be drinking a lot of water? And she said, yes, anytime you're taking any antibiotic, you need to be drinking at least three bottled waters a day so that it dissolves quicker. So then I was like, duh, like I that came to me before my mom even said that, but I just had to reinsure. So I've been drinking a lot of water, which is probably why the antibiotic is working now. So I finally don't have pain. I'm still kind of like not feeling like I want to really do anything because my body is still healing and stuff. My my head has been in a lot of pain for some days. Um, but I am grateful to God that now the antibiotics is finally taking its course. You guys, I couldn't even brush my teeth. I had to rinse my mouth out because I was in so much pain and I hated it because I don't, I don't like not being able to like brush the side like this was the side that was hard. I could brush like my fronts and then this side. But then like the hole that I have on this side is about this big in the middle. So like my nerve and all of that is exposed. So even if I'm brushing on this side, sometimes the coolness would get in this tooth and it would throb. So I couldn't do that. I just had to like rinse with peroxide with warm water ugh, and everything. But now I feel a little bit more relieved. I have my doctor's, my dentist appointment on Wednesday. Today is Friday. And I only have three antibiotics left. So it finally kicked in today. Like around 9 or 10 this morning. I was in excruciating pain from about 1.30 to about 4, 4.30 to 5 in the morning. So I haven't really been sleeping because this pain has been so dramatically painful for me. Um, but I'm grateful to God that now it's working. Now, all I have to do is just go talk to my worker and have her reinstate my, um, or activate my, um, insurance because that's going to pay for the day I went that I couldn't pay because my insurance, I didn't know I didn't have it, but God made it to where they still seen me. So... Um, yeah, that's the update for now. I'm just trying to rest because I finally don't have pain. So I'm able to like relax now for the past like week and a half. I have not been able to sleep because like I said, this toothache was waking me up. Oh, and then when I took all of the medicine at 1.30 in the morning and I took another two antibiotics, I threw up like Everything that was in my stomach in that moment came out. Like, I could taste the medicine, everything. That made me throw up more. And I was like, oh, Lord, let me, whatever's left, let me keep it inside. I pray it already, you know, is in my bloodstream because this is horrible. But at around 5, thir or around 4 o'clock was when I started to finally feel like, you know, like, like, like I'm going to go to sleep. Like, I could finally go to sleep. So... I did, and then I woke. Up, I had to wake up at not at eight fifty five because my grandma takes her medicine. I'm her caregiver, so um, I have to make sure she takes her medicine and stuff at nine. She did her own breakfast. I've been having her having to do it because I haven't had the strength. I've just been really, really, really tired, um, not able to just like do pretty much anything. Um, this pain has really kept me 
crippled for a while and today I'm barely feeling like this is later in the evening right now where I'm at it's probably like 2 probably 1 30 or 2 30 in the afternoon where I finally I'm like I can talk I can breathe and it's not hurting thank you lord and then y'all I'm petrified of the dentist but I'm telling you right now I am going to be so excited to sit in that chair and get all three teeth taken out of my mouth. I have to do six, but he's going to do the, the three that are, the two, the two are the three that are bothering me on this side the most. One, two are at, two on the top and then one at the bottom right here in the very, very back. He's going to take them out. And so, which I'm glad because I need to face my fear and just get it done. Or I wouldn't be in this type of pain. But I'm not tripping because I'm getting all my back teeth taken out. And when I get my my lump sum from me working for the VA, I'm about to go get all brand new teeth put in my grill. I'm not even worried. There will be implants. And I'm not, they're going to be implanted in my jaw. But I don't care. I'm willing to do it because, you know, I could save like my, t my front teeth, but I might even get my fronts done. Like I might get the single uh, teeth, which are a lot of money. So hopefully, you know, I could do like a payment plan, pay payment plan, put like a certain amount down to do all my grill and then do like my payment plan a month. So you guys will not be seeing my teeth with a gap for long. I'm going to, it'll be a couple of months when I, once I get that done right now, I'm just um, working on, you know, getting all of my old teeth taken out because they're rotten. They're bad. So that's what happens when you're, pe look at my hair. You guys. That's what happens when you are petrified of the dentist. So I just want to come on here and say, I'm finally feeling better. I'm going to get back onto doing my videos for you guys again. I need to know why I'm not getting that many views. Like, I'm like, am I not interesting? Am I not? Because I don't, I don't really like edit all my videos. And I just, you know, make the names up as I go. Like, whatever the, whatever I'm going to talk about, whatever I'm going to do is probably, well, not, not probably. It's in my topic at the top. So, like, that's what becomes my headline. And I get like views, but. Then, like, I have, like, 66 videos, and the ones I have the most views on are, like, my night routine, like, not my night, yeah, my uh, shower routines, two of them, they hit, like, one of them hit over a thousand views, so I don't know, maybe you guys like me doing the shower ones, but my channel is an all-around channel, so if you guys are watching this, let me know what I'm doing, you know, I'm... I'm trying to figure out why I'm not getting as many views, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if there's, you know, maybe I, I'm not doing it interesting. Maybe I'm not interesting or whatever for you guys, but whatever. I don't know. I just, I want to kind of be able to understand. So give me some feedback. As far as I know, my comments are on, but I don't go and read on my comments all the time. But I think I'm going to have to start doing that so that I could see if my videos are consistently being watched and then how many people. Because I always go check and I'm like, okay, this video got two views. This one got five views. That one got 11 views. It's very difficult when you're starting from the bottom and you're a new YouTuber. However, I'm a natural because I watch a lot of YouTubers. That's all I do. That's like basically my life. So I just take cues from them and I'm like, oh, I can make my own YouTube because whatever. Anyways, this video is getting long. That's another thing. That's probably why people, I need to start shortening my videos. But anyways, guys, I love you. God loves you. Stay up and bye.